of all the many people they know and love, they have chosen you to be with them, to bear witness to their wedding, and so, on your behalf, if I may, I thank them both for extending a warm welcome to us all. Tanya and Brian would also like to acknowledge family members who have not been able to make the journey. They know that they are here with us in spirit. And a big shout out to Christine and Colin, Brian's parents, who are watching on video. In a way, In particular, I'd like to welcome Gabrielle, Mia and Olivia, as this ceremony is not only to solemnise the marriage of Tanya and Brian, but also to give recognition to and celebrate the joining together as a family of all of its members. We know how proud Tanya and Brian are of their children and how much they love them. And today is even more joyful because they are here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ron Gallagher. I'm a civil servant civilly authorised to conduct and solemnise this marriage according to the laws of Australia. It is both an honour and a privilege to be asked by Tanya and Brian to officiate here today, and I thank them for that. Marriage according to the laws of Australia is the union of a man and a woman to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. But many of us here know that it is much more than that. It is not laws that hold a marriage together, it is love. Love freely given and received each and every day. And when the dust of life gets in our eyes and distracts us from our higher purpose, then let us think back to this day, the bonds made and the care taken in choosing words of promise, and let us all choose once more to share those with each other and strengthen the bonds and make good our words of love and promises made. Friends, when thinking people reason what is truly of deep and lasting value in this life, it always comes down to human relationships. And few are more often tested nor more enduring than that of a parent and child. Many fathers look forward to the day when they are asked who brings this woman to be married to this man with a sense of pride, anticipation, sometimes trepidation, and a sense of joy blended with sadness that his little girl has well and truly grown up. And so now, in time-honoured tradition, I ask, who today brings Tanya to be married to Brian? Thank you, Michael. I do believe Michael's been rehearsing that for a couple of weeks. <laughs> now, Tanya and Brian, I'm about to ask you both a question, and I'm looking for a two-word response. But before you are married, in my presence and the presence of these, your witnesses, I am obliged to remind you of the serious and binding nature of the relationship you are now choosing to enter. With this understanding in your hearts, I now officially ask, do you, Brian Anthony Hickling, take Tanya to be your partner in marriage? Will you love, comfort and care for her? Will you share your life openly and honestly and forsaking all others, be faithful to her through all the challenges of life for as long as you both shall live? Do you, Tanya Louise Gallagher, take Brian to be your partner in marriage? Will you love, comfort and care for him? Will you share your life openly and honestly and forsaking all others, be faithful to him through all the challenges of life for as long as you both shall live? I do. Now I will soon ask Brian and Tanya to exchange their vows, those words that form the very essence of their commitment to each other. First, the legally required statement, followed by the words that they themselves have chosen. But before we can proceed any further, we need the ring. Now, traditionally on wedding day, the best man is entrusted with three official roles. Firstly, getting the groom to the wedding on time. This, Curtis has managed to do. Secondly, to regale the crowd with a humorous speech on the groom's shortcomings later this evening. But right now, call upon him in his third and vital role as guardian of the rings. These rings are tokens of endless and abiding love. They are gifts of both precious gold and the even more precious commitments of devotion and lifelong caring that they represent. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, Tanya and Brian have declared before us all that they now wish to live and love together in marriage. Let us hope that this day forms a milestone in your lives, one that you will look back upon with much joy and happiness. It now gives me the great pleasure to, in the name of true love, pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations to you both. Brian, you may now kiss your bride.
and being an equal opportunity celebrant, I now call upon Tanya to kiss her husband. Now, friends, we do need to attend to some paperwork and the signing of the register. Please remain where you are. We shall return shortly for the conclusion of the ceremony. Once our professionals have taken some photos, I'll give you another opportunity to do likewise. Friends, before I present Tanya and Brian with this folder that contains both their wedding certificates and a copy of the words that have been spoken today, I'd like to say a few final words, if I may. Tanya and Brian, may God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune and rich in blessings. And may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I now proudly present to you Mr. and Mrs. Hickling. And I invite you all to come forward and be the first to congratulate them.